Hey everyone, in today's video, we are looking at an Immortal 3 KO player who would always do things by the book. Being able to adapt game by game is a very important skill that every player needs to learn. But I don't want to hold you for any longer, so just sit back, take some notes, and enjoy the video. Let's get into the actual VOD and the actual coaching. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna knife this. Stay here. Here's the thing. So the first thing already that I'm looking at is like, okay, what is their team comp? Soba, Jet, Chamber, Viper, Rain. Okay, so their only way to get into sight and to scale up without having to take unfavorable fights is Soba. So right. you chucking this knife early essentially says, hey, Soba, I don't give a shit if you exist, even though I know you're the only utility that's gonna help them get up the map. So it's like, yeah. yes, you get information here, but let's be realistic, especially in ranked or even like in competitive play. You know, if they are constantly showing where they're going to go off the start, then there's no value in you chucking this knife right now. Now. The only thing I know here is that you should have saved your knife because Sova Drone and you can shut down Sova Drone and then they have no way to scale into the you know, site. So not only that, but by you breaking the dart, guess what breaking the dart does? Automatically, it fucks them up. There's yeah. nothing they can really do now. You broke the dart, they have to worry about every close angle. It's like pressure that you put on the enemy entries. And a lot of times people don't realize that that pressure is going to be created by something as simple yeah. as breaking a dart, having one of your teammates play aggressive, and then you knifing the drone. Because you just denied all their space take utility. Not only that, but you got later information on where they were coming. And not only that, but like you can hear these guys running. You see the start come in. Right. All you have to do is calm your mic. Like you haven't said anything yet. We haven't calmed. So we didn't calm Sova Drone coming in, which is an update calm. We didn't calm Reina Jet. We didn't calm that we saw Reina Jet on knife right yeah. away. I can tell you that your communication from round one needs work. This is a really aggressive, unneeded play that provides no value to you as a team. Here, I thought Jet was peeking because I called one close and he actually runs one away because he says, no, one's not close. Okay, but here's the thing. You say one close A, but how does that tell the Jet that he's supposed to peek with you? It's an assumption, basically. But like even in team play, that assumption might not be made. So what happens when you're an attorney and then all of a sudden you guys are getting your ass fucking throttled and then you get slightly yeah. tilted and then all of a sudden you're not calming because like, oh, you feel like people aren't playing that well or people don't want to win. When your back actually okay. gets put against the wall, you can tell me that like, oh, it's different, but all your bad tendencies come out when your back's against the wall and in matches, eventually your back will be against the wall like maybe in scrims yeah, yeah when there's no pressure there's no pressure in scrim because scrims is all about mm -hmm. practice and you know that but the second it yeah. becomes an official match and you feel that tenseness that uneasiness that excitement when round starts slipping away from you and then you stop calming as much and then in this situation you calm one close a you walk up and the jet punishes you because you took a 1v1 yeah. because you didn't specify mm -hmm. your calm to your jet of hey let's go fight this like let's double walk a main that's the calm you should have made there's no indication at all that you want to fight this so you even say Oh, I thought my jet was gonna walk away. That doesn't make any sense. Right here. Um, I knew she was gonna swing me. This is more of like a... No, keep no one. You're just not ready for the fight in my eyes. You can literally just crouch here. So there's a big rule of thumb with crouching when you're holding angles, right? When you're when you're holding a close angle, you can actually crouch because you have to think about like crosshair placement and how it kind of works. Right? He's close to you. So his crosshair is gonna be a head level and he's gonna be looking in like the adjustment that it takes from like this close is like a bigger adjustment. So you might catch him off guard and then just like gun him down. So like if you were gonna tuck back, then just crouch. Here's the thing, look at what we're doing. We're not thinking about their team comp, we're knifing. Like, yes, we break the util, but now if they come here, we have nothing to stop the Sova drone, and they can force this jet off the angle. I don't mind the flash, right, to create like two seconds of stall or like pressure, but just call the wall instead. You just call yeah. for the wall, that will create a lot more pressure. Let me ask you this question. You say you don't like this wall, why did you not tell him that you don't like this wall? You are the player at A, yeah. I don't like this wall. Hey, can you do this wall for us? I like this wall more, and I'm the one playing A side. I also don't want to tilt people in rank because they're babies. If Ask them well, here's the thing. A lot of people tell me, oh, everyone in ranked is babies. But if you just have a logical, like not condescending tone, but a logical, hey, I play A Viper. I like this wall more. Can you just put this up? I guarantee you nobody will fucking get mad. You want to know why? Because I do it every single fucking day. It's all about being a reasonable human. Here, you're not calming that they could be too. What is this? So we're here. I just wanted to go straight up. I'm not gonna cap to you. Why? You already have the info. What more info do you want? I had the info that he was uh, he was there. He shot at you. This is what I mean. Like, watch back your gameplay. I guarantee you'll see this more here. Like, if you knife like this, because right. you're probably worried about them up two right now, right? That's like a possible. Yes. I think that should be a theory in your head. But here's the thing. You just chucked this knife for no fucking reason. You already saw them here. Mm -hmm. Like, it's gonna get broken. And if it doesn't get broken, you can't even tell where this fuck. They could have been hit right here. You'd have no fucking clue. It's like, and yeah. like maybe you see one or two. But like in reality, this is a very good KO knife to just fucking throw, right? Like this knife, or like let's yeah, say you're a right. boiler and you're scared they're gonna be in kitchen. 
kitchen and you have no trip, just fucking chuck the knife on this no, wall. Here's the important thing too. You see these people fucking here? You know the timing for them mm -hmm. to get to fucking here is at least like eight seconds. So you have an eight yeah. second interval of like, okay, this is the thing that I have to worry about. Oh, I have knife. Okay, let's not have to worry about that anymore. So now I know exactly where they are and it'll make a better educated guess on our rotation. Shutting them down. Miss, miss, miss. At this point, there's no reason to knife. Why do you think there's no reason to knife here? Oh, because I don't hit anything. They're going mid. No, what are the enemy player's tendencies? When they go A, what is a signifying piece of utility that tells them that they're going A? Oh, the dart. Did they throw the dart here? No, they didn't. So why would you throw this knife? You already jumped up. You already went on belt and peeked if there was somebody here, no? Uh -huh. So you throwing the knife has no value. This is what I'm talking about when I say pay attention to player tendencies. Depending on what players are doing, and this is going to help you as an IGL and an overall player. Okay, what is their team comp? How do they scale? They've got Reyna, Jet, so so they have a really scrap heavy team comp. So a lot of times they're going to be grouped right. in threes around Jet, Reyna, Sova. Because the Sova is going to be escorting Jet mm -hmm. and Reyna. This is typically how most people will play it. But especially in like a team setting if you ever see this comp, okay? So if this is how people yeah. are going to play this, then like when you see no Sova dart here, odds are they aren't going to be scrapping towards this area and you can just kind of spot for information. And you just stay A and then maybe you're worried about a chamber walking up or a viper walking up on alert. But then you can just hold your knife for 15 seconds because what's the walk time from here to here? It's like 15 seconds, right? So there's no reason yeah. for you to throw this knife right away because if you get this information right away, that does not help you later into the round and it does not give you any value. It's just kind of something yeah. that you need to think about is you're just autopiloting your knife and you're not thinking about it. Look at our comp, he locked Reyna last. Bro, look at our comp, he locked Reyna last. This is why people become babies in your ranked games. Because there's no fucking reason for you to ever say that in a million fucking years. Because if you're telling people, oh, let's just play the game, right? But like, that is you objectively saying, Reyna, you're fucking throwing, you dumb shit for locking Reyna. You always have some sort of defense mechanism. Like, oh, I was, oh, this, oh, that, mm -hmm. oh, this. You need to drop that. If you want to become a better player, you need to drop that. And that's like step number one. That is very important. For the next round, like, we're going to chuck this knife. Yeah. Not really thinking about it. Hit. Right, hits three. Like, what are we doing if this knife hits three? What are we doing if this knife hits nobody? You don't have a plan in your head. You're playing all reactionary. Start being more proactive. Start thinking about what the enemy's doing. Hey, Especially, you're an IGL, right? Yeah. You need to be doing this either way. You want to play? Let's play. No, but I still have the knives. Why? I did that because of the jet knives and the chamber up. Not the cap. <laughs> You want to play? Let's There's play. no audio. No, you, no, 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 no. you think if I do this, then I do this, right? You kind of use your utility mm -hmm. off instinct, and you have a decent reasoning, okay? Your reasoning's okay. They have these in play, you want to shut them down, but it's like, when do you actually need to shut them down? The idea of you want to shut down yeah. these abilities, good. The idea of when you want to shut down these abilities, when they are scaling. So, we're throwing this knife. Got you, I got you. If you want to contain this map control, there's no reason to chuck the knife and just run away because you, you have to think. A good player notices, hey, they're fucking chucking this knife, so let's just sit outside B and then we'll yeah. walk in and we'll go from there. Yeah. You, on the other hand, are just chucking this knife and running away. Chuck this knife with intention. Wait for the utility. Once you see the utility, then throw the knife. <laughs> Calm. Talk to your teammate, bro. Tell him to live. Tell him what he needs oh, to do yeah. for your play to be valuable. Like, you give these vague ass comms, like, I'm here. I'm holding mid. Like, dude, when you're about to make a play, formulate a plan. I'm coming behind him? Cool. What the fuck? Like, what is that? What are we doing? You're coming behind him? Cool. Yeah. Like, you're gonna blow this guy's back out, right? Like, fuck, dude. I mean, I want my back out by it, dude. Uh, hey, yo, what the fuck? Nice. I just whip here, though. Flash, dump all utility. What? You're so trash. You're so fucking trash. After we get this kill, our immediate response should be knife. Our immediate response, look to other angle. You need to be adjusting this angle. Your crosser needs to be out here. Okay, we see nothing. If you want to swing here, that's fine. Step number two, we want to make sure that he can't use any utility. We don't want him to find out where exactly we are. At the same time, just take your time. Just don't fucking crouch spam. Watching this VOD back, the only thing I see over and over again is that I think I am better than the players I'm playing with. That's all I see. Every single time, every single round. You're not thinking about your utility. You're running it down. You're going for your, you're going for yours essentially. On top of that, it's like just the way you're acting overall in this game tells me that you think you're better than everyone. And that's just like such a bad mentality to have. And that's such a bad thought process. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe that's not even what you're trying to do, but some self-reflection needs to happen. Behind. There's definitely a flash you can throw that will bounce and it will fucking pop right here as you're scaling. Mm -hmm. So they have to at least turn from it, right? Dry rain up this isn't really helpful. On top of that, we're not waiting for our Viper wall again. What if somebody is sitting top site here? This guy doesn't even wait for anything. He just fucking runs it down. He's immortal three. Come on now. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below because God, I'd suck someone's dick to get put in the algorithm. YouTube, if you're watching this, just let me know.